for T Bone Dog. You got What's that? Cup. <laughs> oh, you got a cup. So we in competition with the uh, <laughs> with the memorabilia or whatever you want to say. With the merchandise. The homeboy's mug, uh, tumbler. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let me see what I pop out with next week. <laughs> What's up, Josh? Contour cookie. Couture underscore cookie. I apologize. <laughs> What's up? How's everybody doing tonight? Trying to wait, wait for a couple of other people to get on. Some of our regulars, they kind of been slacking. Because if Kim can get on tonight, we're going to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the love out there. It's the homeboys conversation. Let me leave and join again real quick. Someone tried to call me. So y'all, when I declined the call, y'all got real low. So I'm going to leave and request again, all right? Okay. All right. <laughs> this is going to be a good discussion. It is. A good movie. A real good one. Did it come back? Yeah. Okay, right. here we go. Here we go. This is the Homeboys Conversation Podcast with yours truly, Cocktail Reds. We got T in the building. What's good? What's good? We got our resident homegirl in the building. Hey, y'all. Hey. Siobhan Carter. The movie that we're going to be reviewing tonight, today, is actually a good one. Just came out Friday, y'all. Uh, King Richards. If you haven't seen it, before we do this, we always got to go around the board and get our uh, reviews of what you should do before you see uh, it and listen to us because we give away the movie, basically. Obviously, we so already, if you haven't we, seen it. We already see your biasness coming out because you just keep talking about how good a movie it is already. Oh, my bad. <laughs> it might, not, they might <laughs> not be good to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Me being uh, a Will dude. Smith fan is kind of kind of hard. Like, okay, you know, Siobhan, yeah. let's start with you. Must see. Uh, uh, don't waste your time. Or wait till it come on TV. It is an absolute must see. You got to see this movie. Okay, T. Must see. Don't waste your time. Or wait till it come out on. Uh, wait till it come on to uh TV. It's a must see, especially if you got must family. See. It's a must see. Okay, okay. I actually think it is actually a must-see. I, I thought it was a real good movie, um, you know, and it was a you know, true story. I'm glad when I, I always like when they do, uh, you know, about people's lives when people are alive. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? They do people's lives after people been dead for 40 years and people don't know how accurate it is. And then you always got those people like, oh, that wasn't truly how it happened. Like, you know, so we're going to get right into it. Um, I, I, I happened to have been looking online today and I actually seen a quote earlier. Um, it was about somebody's, uh, about black Twitter actually getting on somebody. Um, it was a, a lady named Dr. Jesse Taylor. The quote read, she, where she tweeted this, did they seriously make a movie called King Richardson about the success of Serena, Serena and Venus Williams, but it's about their dad, Richards. To me, so I get that this might annoy some people, but I generally didn't expect a film about two of the most powerful, successful, and amazing black female athletes to be named after a man or centered a man. I would have loved this film to be all about them and not a man. That it really is. Now. Y'all heard her quote. I think she go on to say other... Well, no, she didn't go on to say other things. Some other people lit into her. Now, evidently, she's speaking as a feminist. So, um, I'm going to start with you, Siobhan. Did you have the problem that the movie was basically... It was, it, it, it was about Venus and Serena, 
But the movie were named after him, and it seemed like it really centered around him for the most part of it. Did you have a problem with that? No, because I feel like we needed to know the backstory. In my opinion, there would be no Venus and Serena, Serena without King Richard. Like he was, he played a, a very important role in them becoming who they were, and you saw that in the movie. So I didn't have a problem with it. Okay, T. Did you have an issue with that? You know, they they felt like he kind of the movie's about him. No, no, not at all. Um, like Siobhan said, I feel like we needed a backstory. I mean, if the movie was about them, I mean, where were we going to start at? He was going to be part <laughs> of it anyway. It all started from the plan, which was his. So why not start it like that? I enjoyed it. I feel, and I don't even feel like it was just like centered around him. I feel like it was centered around all of them. Right. Because mm -hmm. they did a good job at like portraying how their family life was and everything. So I don't agree with her at all. Yeah. And, and it, again, it's it, I, I agree with y'all because it wasn't that, what, what, even though it was named after him because he was the guy, you know, who orchestrated it all. Like he had the plan. Yeah. And it literally highlighted everybody. It highlighted Venice Reeves. It highlighted kind of sort of the other two, three kids because you never heard about them, really. It highlighted the the, the, uh, the mother. It highlighted other people that you you never even paid attention to about, you know, before. You know, you didn't realize where they came from because if you wasn't an avid uh, tennis watcher, they just appeared. Right. And now we was all watching, you know, uh, the story in the making. So, you know, I, I think it was a, it was a good. It, it, I think the woman was just a feminist, and you know, kind of like getting her five minutes of shame. I, I mean, it was it was terrible. But a, a bunch of celebrities led into it up. Um, moving right along, um, it was a, you know you could tell um, he was kind of a, like a, a jerk at sometimes, but some people might perceive. Do you think he was a little too hard on the girls when it came to practicing out the school in the rain and everything like that? T, you, you've been playing sports all these years. Do you think that was too hard? Um, in actuality, no. Nah, because I know how, how it is when, it's, when they hard on you in practice and whatever. To me, it seems normal. If you want to be the best at something, you got to remember it's somebody out there working harder than you. Or, or just as hard or whatever. So you got to always be on it if you if you believe in something. And obviously the girls was fine with it because they seemed to believe in it too. Okay. Siobhan? Yeah, I think I think the same way as T. I think that's how you build discipline within the kids and, and get them serious about it and see how serious they are. And they seem to be into it. It didn't interfere with their grades. They were still able to keep up their grades. So I think I think it was fine. Like, I yeah. never, um, I think it did, you know, it actually was actually okay. I mean, again, the movie was their, uh, their interaction. They never really said if it was, uh, if it was bad or they felt some type of way. But because, like I said, it, you know, just to kind of go back to what we said, the movie was about his plan that he created. So it didn't touch on Venus and Serena or how they felt about that, but from what they portrayed, you know, and, you know, uh, just a keynote, they actually uh, uh, were the executive producers of the movie, so evidently they felt mm -hmm. like it wasn't that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Now, we know we, we, we got, you know, sometimes it could be good, sometimes it could be bad, but now you got no more nosy, nosy neighbors. Um... <laughs> Um, Siobhan, how would you have handled the nosy neighbor, especially after they didn't call the cops on you? Like, I, I, you know, it, it it all depends. But how would you have handled that situation? I like the way the mother handled it. She, ain't, <laughs> she didn't have to say much, but she said what she said. She went over there, said what she said, and they had no more problems out that neighbor. So I probably would have done something like that. I, she did it classy. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> T, how did you feel about um the nosy neighbor? I like the way I like the way the mother uh, handled it. Well, I felt like she could have said a little bit more spicy. <laughs> Just add a, little more, a little more spice to it. You know, I like a little bit of my drama in there. 
as a little, you know, just a threat, <laughs> a, a minor threat. Yeah. But you know, then again, she probably called the police on her for that too. So yeah, you know what I'm she, she handled it right. Did T what okay. you wanted? Wait, T what you wanted her to say? What? what, what? <laughs> I don't know. Sun rock, like, like, put my foot up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take the tennis racket, maybe put it where the sun don't shine. But no, I like how King Richard handled it though. When he was like, "Don't you got a daughter?" Or she out there on the corner or whatever. She said he said to her, "I like yeah, that one yeah. better. That one was better right there. That was the yeah, fight yeah, I was yeah. looking for right there." <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I'm I'm with y'all. I I feel like um, you know, I feel I, I'm like Siobhan. She she said a little bit, but it it like it echoed a whole lot. Like, mm -hmm. don't let me come over here again. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was that was the gangster. Like, yeah, this is the first time I've been over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you got a daughter. I'm raising five of them. Don't let me come over here again. <laughs> and he, you know, it's like one of those situations where. You can't really say I threaten you. You know what I'm saying? You can't, oh, he, he threatened to do something. I said, don't let me come over there again. And then I was talking about bringing the sweet potato pie. <laughs> I don't understand what she was talking about. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think it's, you know, the mother part she did, you know, it was smart. It was strategic. 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 <laughs> strategic. Strategic, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get your it was together. it was smart. It was it was cool. It was like, oh, okay, this is how we're gonna do it. Some um, ass. you know, um, he he seemed to be playing tennis in some of kind of um some of the roughest neighborhoods, some of the roughest areas. Um, one point I'm gonna hit on is like, do y'all think at some point he should have been just stayed away from that tennis court? Because he's seen this was this is about to get bad before it get worse. And I mean before it get good. And you got a you know, you got five daughters out there. T, do you feel like he should have like just stayed away from that? Like nah. at this point you gotta think bigger. Nah. First of all, his name King Richard. He got the forty five. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Secondly, <laughs> secondly, that's the only tennis court they had to play at. He drove. What? He had a car. Where are they going? Man, they that's right there. Well. Nah, man, you ain't. Nah, I got a plan. My plan was be on this tennis court right here. I'm sticking to the plan. <laughs> what if he went to another tennis court? They went to the other tennis court. She'd have twist her ankle. Then the plan wouldn't have came into fruition. Cause they went against <laughs> the plan. Stick with the plan. Honestly, <laughs> I'm about to make me a plan. Uh -oh. <laughs> he made me he made me want to call my dead father up in heaven and say nigga where was my plan at <laughs> like King he had, had your plan. plan where's my plan he had your plan you chose not to follow it like yeah <laughs> Siobhan, so, you think he should have just left that call all together like you got five daughters that you got to think about um, I, I just don't think there were any others when you think about back in the day, especially in the hood. And then I don't, other than where he went. He drove. Yeah, but where? where he had a car. Where are the other tennis courts at in the hood? Like, ain't no more tennis courts on this side. Yeah, of back then, yeah, back then was no tennis courts. No. But you're not, you're not going to the hood at this point. This when, is when you find another. I'm sure it was more tennis court outside of Compton. It was where he kept approaching those coaches at. They wouldn't let him play on those courts over there. I'm sure they had some free tennis courts in those wider neighborhoods. They didn't and have get, Google and get, stuff back then, listen, so he couldn't find it. Yeah, I'd rather get beat up. I'd rather get beat up by a gang member than shot down by the police. <laughs> All right. Let me tell you that much. Oh, right. I guess you make your point. Well, well, that, that kind of segues into the next question, T, since you said that. Mm -hmm. Do you think he should have hit the gang member back when he uh, kind of gave him that gut, that nah. gut punch? No, nah, he did the right thing. You got to know when you're in the win, win when you're in a lose, lose, lose situation right there. <laughs> you can get up, you can hit him, you get up and hit him, he going to shoot you, right? You, he <laughs> punch you, put you down, but you come back the next day. That show you ain't scared. You know what I'm saying? You did what you did, but you heard what I said, though, about my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he did the right thing. He carried it like he was supposed to. But how, how do y'all feel as men, your daughters, all of your daughters watching you get beat up? Like, that I'd mean guess, something to you? 
I would have got a call. I'd have got a call. I got a call. Say, y'all don't talk. I say, don't say nothing. Don't nobody say nothing. <laughs> don't say nothing about nothing. All right. Let me let me say that. Okay. I took that um, as you. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, this was a Kevin Hart movie. Right. You want no more of that man? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I you know me having daughters. Um, I I, I would. I don't know if at this point, I guess in their mind, their daughter realized like, no, don't. It's not a you a coward type situation. It's like we know how bad this gets. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We know what type of guy this is. You know, it's not like it's your girlfriend when you feel like she gonna <laughs> claim you later about it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that, that is the difference, yeah. You know, if you, you got that type of, oh, who you yelling at? You ain't yelling at that dude who punched you in your gut. Like, you know, it's not one of those hey. situations. Hey, can I say this, though? The lady the, the lady who played his wife, right? Uh-huh. I felt so much love coming from that lady yeah. playing that role. Yeah. Like, she really just loved them. You know what I'm saying? And I could feel it. And I was like, man, she needs like an Oscar or something. Because yeah. I, was, I was watching it like, I wish she was my wife. Like, yeah, yeah. I need the support. She, yeah. she ain't say nothing. She seen him beat up and everything. And she just patched him up and held him close. That's what yeah. we need, ladies. Yeah. Like she was the type of, the, and I, I agree with you, T. I think we need more wives like that. You just got to know how to handle your man. She know how to when to say something when she need to put her foot down and when she like, you know what, I'm gonna let you mm -hmm. have it. Like I like how she did that. She she reminded me of the wife in um The Best Man. Morris Chestnut wife. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The one who cheated. Yeah, but just her <laughs> but just her quiet spirit. When you look at part two when you look at part two and how she was, like she was yeah. chill, mild manner, but she knew how to get to him. Yeah, true. <laughs> he broke that up, though. <laughs> I mean she did <laughs> She ain't cheat. Huh? She just she ain't cheat. She just slept with dude in college, and then Morris Chestnut started messing with her, right? No, no. He had been cheating on her for the longest. So he been cheating on her, and she did it spitefully. Let's not talk about that movie now because we might have to review that movie later. And people, what's like the move, moving right along? Um, Siobhan, you know after 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 taking that gut punch, um. I have to get whooped again, which I think the dude rightfully so deserved that guy that gonna uh, ratchet across his face when he said he would come across, come past my house and run a train on my dog. Yeah, you know, cool. um, at that point, he, he went and grabbed his guy. He, he felt, at oh. this point, he was like uh, 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 all over. I'm about, to, I'm, about to, I'm about to let this nigga know. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. um, what do you think do you actually think this was he was about to like I'm about to go bust this guy, and how do you think he felt after he seen that he got shot? Oh man, so I definitely think he was about to go over there and shoot and kill him. Um, but the fact that he was just about to cross the street and then do end up getting shot, I would I would have been like, dang, that's a god thing. Okay, let me get back in this van, like God, God <laughs> yeah. my life, you know, like that's my exactly life. Exactly. You know, my eyes. Because the whole story would have changed. That would have been the end of the story unless the mama, you know, kept it going. But I don't know. If I think that I don't think that'd been the end of the story. Nah, that the been mama, the end. we could see, you know, she had a little thing in her too. Yeah. But yeah, but I, okay. I, I think that would have been the end of the story too, though, because he got locked up. Because yeah. that's his work gun. He right. got locked up. All the focus would have went to take him, care of him in jail and whatnot and things <laughs> like that. The plan yeah. all switched up. Did the we plan, have a plan all switched B? up. Obviously not. Cause the mama got to take care of these five kids. Not about herself. She ain't got time to be going to no tennis court with no no girls. Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I think the plan. I think the plan. I, I'm I'm pretty sure. I think at that point he was done. Uh, he he was already mad. Um, I think what what happened was uh at this point what what had happened to him? Why he was upset? He got beat up bad. He got pistol whipped. Yeah. No, no, before, before, because he ended up on that court because what he got rejected or something. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so at this point, I think he was finally fed up. You know, he was, he was just finally fed up. So I do think he would have shot him. He'd have caught him by himself. Mm -hmm. He would, I think he was about to end him. Yeah. But seeing that dude get shot, 
I think that will ultimately make them feel like we gotta go. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We gotta. We can't. I can't stay here. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the key notes that I, I forgot about that he, um, one of the statements he ended up saying was, uh, he was saying somebody got a check for one game for forty two thousand. He said, "Man, I knew I was in the wrong business because I only got fifty two thousand for that whole year. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. I knew I had to make a plan." Yeah. Um. Uh, so basically, you know, his plan was to get his daughters in tennis, get them playing. So he coached them himself. Um, do you think you would have kept asking all the coaches after all those rejections, T, that the daughter kept on doing? Yeah, I most definitely would, especially if I believe in my kid and they 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 showing promise. I'm gonna keep pressing the issue. What else I'm gonna do? I want the plan to work right. Yeah, but. Do you think you need them? I, I don't know. Well, yeah, you need them to get into the little tournament and all that stuff. I think you needed like a uh, – you probably needed like some type of certification or something through you a club or a coach or something like that for real. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So – and then you got to think, he a, he's a black man. Back then trying to get into the world of, of tennis, they already was rejecting me. Imagine what they would have did at a tournament. They'd have probably just laughed them out. We try and enter the jump. Yeah. He didn't know nothing about those tournaments. I, I don't think they would have taken him seriously. I don't think he would have been able to get get in had he not had the support. Because that was a white-dominated sport. So they hadn't seen any black people come in other than Arthur Ashe back in the day. But other than that, especially a little black girl, it's like... Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, actually, one of the best tennis players other than Arthur Ashe, um, the shirt lacrosse mm-hmm. was a black tennis player shirt. Oh. Um... Who was uh, um, the black woman? She actually, so it was actually a few. Now, I, I should have, I'm usually better at this. I would have had their names down, but I didn't. They threw the gup up. But it was okay. actually a couple of black, and I don't, I don't think I would have kept asking. I think my, my thought would have been like, I could do this on my own. <clears throat> because he kind of segue into the next question is like, uh, wait, 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 I don't. I, don't, I, don't I thought you was I, answered. No, I don't think I would have kept asking I, because I'm not that determined. So I don't. I probably would. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not gonna keep taking these rejections. Well, I know what's about me is about the kids, but I probably would have gave up at some point. I don't know. He he had tenacity and, and perseverance but, like no other. But somewhat of what y'all saying, he did do though, because. What? He he called the dude and the dude wasn't never answering and he just took them there anyway without an appointment, remember? And yeah. that's when he got yeah. like forced them up upon the dude and he was like, Let me just see them do what they gonna do. And that's when he first met the first coach dude or whatever. Yeah. Remember when uh McEnroy was practicing? Yeah. yeah. So he kinda did stop asking and got fed up and was like, Nah, come on, we about to go up to the to the club and do whatever we gonna do. So he kinda did what y'all said. Well, do y'all? Well, I guess it's a segue into the next question. Do you think he was wrong with how he was kept interrupting him after he begged this man to actually take on his kids, T? <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. But you can't help it. You know, you got that. <laughs> Some people can't can't control their impulses. You know what I'm saying? I know you've seen coaches coaching kids and. And you like, man, he telling that kid wrong and you want to say something, but you got better self-control than that. He so he was so used to doing it on his own that he probably couldn't help himself. You know what I mean? So was it rude? Yes. Was it wrong? No. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he needed to shut up. Shut up. Now, you done asked this man, you done begged this man to, to coach these kids. Let him coach. You can't dictate how he do it and try to interject. Shut up. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up and record. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. I felt like at this point, you 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 done your job. Your plan is coming to fruition. You done your job. You you done finally got them. They see it. They see the talent. The guy see it. He coaching. He got two professional stars right there in your face, and he see the talent. And at this particular point. You see these guys, man, who listen to them that's already professional. This is when you just be quiet. This this is really when you be quiet because, again, your way of doing something was different than what he felt. 
See, you, you keep telling her you want to go to center, but you keep closing the stance up. I tell her to do the wide stance to get back there faster. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I forgot. You know everything. You missed the know it all. <laughs> I See, like because the let's think of, you know, for some reason, I just assumed he was going to be like, you know what? I don't have to deal with this. I'm doing your favor. Exactly. That's what I would nah. say. Because I think that. that he saw, huh? he's, nah, he saw how good she was. He was like, nah, you know what? I ain't <laughs> gonna, I'm not going to kick her to the curb. I'm like, God, so I'm here. I'm going, <laughs> yeah. you know. But I just feel, I felt like still he should have. I mean, at some point. I think he should have been like, look, for now and on, you got to come drop her off and leave. Go get a soda, go get a Snickers, go do something. <laughs> but you can't sit here and watch his progress. Yeah. Because that's, I could have, that's, come on, T, that man, you didn't coach kids before. I said so, it's rude, but was he wrong? I, only reason I'm saying he wasn't wrong because he was doing it himself for so long. He it hasn't gotten out of his system yet. You know what I'm saying? Now, let this be three weeks in, and he doing this for the whole three weeks, and nah, it's, I would have stopped you at the first week, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this yeah. is just the first day, I'm going to give you a pass the first day, you know what I mean? So That's why they don't like in dance, they don't let parents come in there because of that reason, like you got to get out, you can't be in here while these children trying to learn, you know, in dance yeah. and stuff, because you don't... Yeah, especially practices, yeah. and I know a lot of places that don't allow parents in a lot of practice, we just had dance practice Yeah, and dance because my, my youngest daughter, her mother and them ladies like, they can't come in there and practice when, when they're in practice no, Yeah, they're yeah, mm -hmm. so well, you know, um, eventually she becomes good, she, she, she she's doing her thing, and um, she's, she's just whooping everybody um, Siobhan, <laughs> since you like the movie, so, dude, you know, um, he, you know, he, he got mad at them bragging, and he was about to leave them at the store. Do you feel like he was dead wrong, or should he have taught them a lesson? Listen, now, this, the lesson stops here. You're not going to leave my children in this ghetto behind store and have them walk three miles home because you're trying to prove a point. Now, you're going too far. What she said... You better go get my kids. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what you know, Lexi, you're trying to teach. You teach it another way because you're going to get my kids. T. Yeah. Uh, three miles is a bit far for five little girls. Three miles is far. I wouldn't have did that. I might have rolled around the block, scared them. But I ain't about to let them walk no three miles. I don't even know three how he can do that. Three miles is not that guy far. I don't know how he can do that, though. Because a, a daughter is like a, a father's, like, pride and joy. You ain't about to let your daughter, especially after Adam Thugs was acting right. towards the, towards her. Imagine they walking home three miles. Who you think going to snatch her up then? Right. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I, I, again, having daughters, some the only one who had to speak from experience, yeah. could have let D walk home. Uh, by herself. Down the block some, yeah. yeah. I, um, That's what I said, right? You got to hear the thing. Understand this. It was five girls, yes. and they wasn't kids. At this point, the oldest one was there about to go to, getting out of high school. Mm -hmm. Or like like the old. It wasn't It wasn't like when she was like 16, 17 years old at this time. So it wasn't like it was five kids. It wasn't like it was five 10-year-olds. Could I let my daughter walk? I doubt it. But <laughs> could I have done what T said, rolling around the block? Yeah, I could have done that. Yeah. I don't, I'm sure, I'm, I'm, you know, uh, nah, I could have let my daughter walk. <laughs> but I understood why he was upset. You just know that part. I understood why he was upset, but could I have let my daughters walk? Nah, nah, nah. Mm -mm. But then let me ask y'all this. Do y'all understand why he was mad, T? Yeah, he was trying to teach them how to be humble. You know what I'm saying? Because there's gonna be a time when you, when you lose. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want that coming back at you. And then another thing, he saw how those other parents and kids was acting. He didn't want to raise them like that. You know what I'm saying? He wanted them to be better. You feel me? He spoke a lot mm -hmm. about that type of stuff, being better. You as a human, yeah. not just you know as a tennis player. So I like the way he was raising them. So I agree with you. See, I mean, Siobhan, 
Yeah, I think I think that was important for them to understand in a different way, not walking from no dad on store, but to <laughs> teach them about humility because you don't want to get the big head. That's when you start losing and you get you get focused on the wrong thing. So I like the lesson in humility. Okay. <clears throat> Over the time she ended up dominating. She ain't just win. She won every match. 63 and 0. N without fail. Eventually, everybody wants a piece of her. Um, the people who literally trained her for free, um, you know, and literally was just, you know, hey, look, I, we got her back. What, what you trying to do? Um, he ended up basically, he started, the, he started the whole, in my opinion, he started the whole conversation off as, like, real disrespectful when he said, I'm glad y'all ain't y'all took y'all hoods off for me. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite part. Um, <laughs> Wait, he said what? He I'm, said, I'm glad he said, I'm glad y'all took y'all hoods off for oh, me. that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to stop laughing. And um, he said a couple other things, but do y'all feel like Ben's though of everything? Now, now, let me say this, and I'm I'm going to ask, well, the question is, do y'all feel like he was right on how he handled it? But I wanted to answer first to say, do all, had y'all the idea, do y'all think that it was right based off of everything he done for them and like uh, everything he, everything they done for him? coaching them for free, putting them in the tournaments and all that, and that they were trying to offer him, you know, financially, like uh, some type of financial benefit. Like, do y'all have a problem, like, how he handled the situation? So, Siobhan? So, I do have a problem with how he – I felt he was very ignorant. Like, I feel like you – I don't think he should have taken a deal because they weren't offering any money. They were just offering, like, rackets and clothes or something like that. So, they weren't giving him any money, but – I don't think he handled it the right way. I thought it was very ignorant. He could have did something a little differently to get his point across. I love the way he handled it. <laughs> <laughs> because because he, he, he's been in that, that country club before. He's been there before. That's how he, why he said, I'm glad y'all took your hoods off for me this time. Because he's been there before. They rejected him before. They was rude to him before. And now... I was trying to tell y'all about my daughter, but y'all was being rude to me. Now y'all see y'all want to come bring all these people and fake give us rackets and all this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to be rude to you. I'm carrying you, especially if I already plan on not dealing with you. I ain't dealing with you, so I can say what I want to say. But you know what you get yourself into. You know this is a <laughs> predominantly white sport. You know how some of these people are. Like, why even go there? You already know. I had to get it out of my system. <laughs> Before I deal with people I want to deal with. <laughs> Better I do it right then and there than later. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Well, I don't... My thing is, <laughs> um, I, I agree with Siobhan. I feel like it's the way you deal with situations. Because you gotta... This is where I'm, I'm like the other focus. You have people in those positions that know people that could ultimately could have messed it up on the flip side. Mm -hmm. Like and that's that's the whole thing behind it, and you 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 could have handled it a different way and be like you know I get back to you, but I I would like to be able me personally I would have loved to kill him with kindness. Mm -hmm. um, you know I think about it, right. you know, and then just go somewhere else, boom, and they thinking oh we got him we got him, and then all of a sudden like no we don't. Yeah. Like I would have loved to do it that way, just being disrespectful and just like. Going at them would have been to me. I I, I don't feel like I punched them good enough. Sorry if y'all hit like my mine's is trying to be petty, but you were you were out, you know, like oh, okay, whatever. I, I would have liked to like really like mind f them. Like, like keep chess. on holding, keep waiting on. Right, like chess, play it like chess. Oh Check man, <laughs> because again, you don't know the power that these these people probably had. And they was uh, like it was like sneak dissing with the incredible. It's incredible how you all got here. It's incredible what you did. Right. It's incredible. This, that. So he handled that right. That pissed them off. Why is it incredible? Because we did it. Just say it. Because we black. But see, why is that? Here's the thing. And that's that's a point that I wanted to make. Do you think his, his past with white people just made him bitter and everything started to seem 
offensive anytime they make a murder. Because even though he kept saying, oh, yeah, you know, it's incredible. Could that, could, could if I said, man, dang, T, man, hold oh, your son started playing this. Oh, man, that's incredible. That's you wouldn't have got offended if I that's said different. that. That's different. Huh? That's different. Right, because I'm you're black. Not, you're not in the position of power trying to offer me something, first of all. You're not, and second of all, you're not white. But the, his past did play right. a part. His past did play a part in it, though. Yeah. But you can hear the undertone in the way somebody say something. You know what I'm saying? Like they wouldn't deal with me on the regular. You know what I'm saying? So I know why he's saying incredible. He ain't saying nobody else incredible. And it's supposed to be like top players there and everything. Nah, his daughter whooped everybody. <laughs> nobody is nobody's more incredible than her right. at this particular point. <laughs> I'd have had a problem. I, but with you that. know, I I do understand that, and but I I still feel like you know it's it's still a way that you handle and you you want to kind of keep a certain type of rapport with people until you get on top. Like you already know they say, like I'm, it's I, you know I grew up with the mindset of never let the uh, left hand know what the right hand is doing. I don't want to I don't want to let you already know that I'm I'm not signing with y'all. Because again, I don't know what type of reach you got. That's just my opinion. Yeah, he you know. But again, plan. I like that he chose to go another route. He ended up going to the point where he didn't want his daughters playing in junior no more. He told him like basically like, nah, they're not playing. Siobhan, do you think that was fair to Serena? Because she wanted this. Do you think that was fair to her? To pull her out of juniors? So, I, I think on one hand, I can understand wanting them to be kids and not putting too much pressure on them. But on the other hand, it was more about his own fears than it was about them. So, I think in that mm -hmm. regard, it was wrong because this is how you develop them. This is how you get them to hone their skills and you taking them out because you're scared. Like, this this yeah. your stuff. Don't put that on them babies. That's when, in which ways do you think he was scared? Because he was scared that he could no longer protect them. Like, if they got too big and they get out there and it's like, no. He had, like, control issues a little bit. Like, he had to control everything. Even though he was chasing after coach, he had to have to say something in practice. And he had to control which deal they got and all of that. So it's like he needed to learn how to step back. And so I think because if you get too far and these people, all these people are around, then you don't have as much control as you did at this level. So I think that that was the piece. And then like later on, what the things that his wife talked about, you know, when they were in Florida, I think all of that played a part. Okay. I agree. I, don't, I mean, I agree. She said everything I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah. Um. I. I do. I'm. I'm in agreement with you. Uh. I. I think it was a uh, not just not just a fit, but I. I understand. Uh, kids being kids as long as possible. Yeah. And I think that was his fear. He wanted them to have what they said a normal life. You know what I'm saying? We. You know, I hear people talk about you know uh, why Michael Jackson act the way he act. Because, you know, he was, you know, they took his childhood away from him. He ended up building an old Neverland because it's like he's trying to reclaim his childhood. And I think that did play a part yeah. to where it's like, you know, I want them to be his kids as long as possible. Mm -hmm. But do you feel like, um, I guess, do you feel like he was dead wrong, T, on how he kind of tricked the new coach? <laughs> what did like, you trick him? You know, because the new coach now, I guess it's in the part, not necessarily tricking, but he left certain details out. He 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 knew he wasn't going to allow them to play the juniors. So the coach gave him the contract. So he's like, Look, you gotta take all of us. We all moving to Florida. Yeah, I remember. I need part. a I need a job on your staff. Um, you know, you got access to both my girls at this point. You know, they 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 winning, they doing their daggone thing, you know, blah blah blah. And then when he get there, you know, he's like, Yeah, yeah, the coach like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get them ready, you know, such and such coming up, and he's like, Oh, they ain't playing the juniors. And then he's like, Oh, why didn't they tell me that before? Exactly. And he was like, If I'd have told you that, you probably wouldn't uh 
you know, agree to the deal. Well, I mean, they do that with contracts to people anyway. <laughs> they have little hidden, hidden things and footnotes and whatnot. And if you don't read the fine print, <clears throat> now you owe them money. Or you can't do this, you can't do that. So, I mean, he just playing the game. I feel like it was it was wrong on the girl for him to do that as far as the girls go, because they believed they was gonna play too. You know what I mean? So that was wrong on that on that front. But as far as the business part with him and the coach do, eh, it's part of the game. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it was. I, I wouldn't say it was wrong. I think it was risky. Like he he. That was a big risk because after he told him that, then he could have been like, you know what, screw this contract. I'm sending all y'all back, you know. So it, that was a risky move, but I guess he knew that he could, when he could reveal that information. But yeah, I agree with T. That's how they play the game. Yeah, that's 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 how they play the game. Um, I felt like it was petty, <laughs> but you know, like you said, like hey. In war, like, <laughs> I got to fight dirty, like, I'm, you know. And then, again, you know, that at the end of the day, the guy did benefit from it. The guy benefited from, uh, you know, being in the Serena and them, you know, becoming the stars that it was because he, he ultimately got 15%. <clears throat> um, eventually, you know, Serena, I mean, Venus did play in the tournament. They offered her three million dollars in Nike. I'm gonna ask. <laughs> they offered her three million dollars, and this is back in what? What was this? Ninety one. Mm -hmm. They offered her three million dollars for a shoe contract. Siobhan, you taking that three million dollars? So it's very tempting, right? But if I know how talented my daughter is, I don't know if I would go with the first offer. No, I'm saying you as a Me person. You as a person. You yeah. as Venus. No, nah, because he they they have instilled confidence in her. So it's like we just gonna go with the first offer. If you willing to offer three million, what else? What else is out there? No, I wouldn't take it. T, it's ninety one. You ain't number fourteen. The no. people's offering you three million dollars. Not if I'm. Not if I'm. Not if I'm that good. Yeah. Not from good like her, cause that's true. Like if you come to me, offer me three million, and you fake try and press me, tell me something is only good for the night. Right. That let me know you jive like trying and press me into taking this off. I already don't like that, cause yeah. you're trying to fake pressure me. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna do my thing, and I'm gonna see if some other people want to offer me some stuff. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. if I win, other people won't come along. Y'all just trying to be the first to snatch me up before anybody else can. So I'm gonna go ahead and just. Do what she did and say no. Well, let me ask you this then. Did you feel like the coach was wrong also for trying to uh, insinuate that, hey, this is the best you're going to get? You might as well take it? No, I mean, um, I, 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 I can't understand the coach saying that. He's trying to get that money. The coach. I think the coach was just trying to get his fifteen percent, man. <laughs> you got me doing all this for you, and then you told me that right. that day. And yeah, yeah, I go ahead and take this money, get my damn money. <laughs> yeah, he didn't be coaching him for what three years. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but but I mean, y'all got to again. Um 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 um, it's it's I got the three million. I know what you could do because I've been coaching you. Mm -hmm. But I guess in the coach mind, mm -hmm. no no no, Rez. He was telling her to take that deal out of doubt. Because remember, he said she, yeah. she going to be playing the best player, such and such, and this, that, and the third. You really think she going to do this and do that yeah. and all that? He doubted it. Mm -hmm. She had well, that that's you, I think. I think his thing was you haven't played right. in three years. Right. So he was You haven't to get played any real matches in three years. Don't doubt me. Mm -hmm. If I say I'm Yeah, but you haven't played any. Let's. Hey, T. We we play sports. Yeah. All you done was practice for three years. Practice. Yeah. Practice. We talking about practice. <laughs> we talking about practice. Not a game. <laughs> Not well, a game. What? That three years of practice when I get on that court, I'm cooking everybody because I had the most practice. I done perfected my craft. Mm -hmm. You perfected your craft in an empty gym. Yeah. You ain't perfect your craft. Playing against a guy that that equally perfected his craft. Not equally. 
She wasn't in it three years by herself. Straight. <laughs> I was. Listen. No. Play, he, play how you practice, you're going to win. It's when you try to go outside of what you practice when you start messing up. Just do what you know but, what how to do and do it well, and you're going to be successful. But we both know that he have he have been playing for three years. Siobhan. He have really been practicing. He just mad because when we do this and we finally play basketball, I'll be busting him. So. <laughs> <laughs> you old now, T. Y'all used to be only can say that about me. Now I can say it about all y'all. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, you know, at the end of the movie, um, you see that, um, you know, he finally, uh, you know, they accepted the deal. I think it was $12 million from Reebok. Um, one last question I wanted to ask, uh, and I almost forgot. Do you think it was wrong on how he kind of treated Serena? Like, he really, it seemed as though he, after the coach was like, they would only coach one of them, it seemed like almost he put all his support in Venus like she was the meal ticket. Do y'all think it was wrong at some point or how she, how he treated Serena? Uh, Siobhan? I don't, after the way that he explained it, when he said, I did this on purpose, it all made sense to me. Because at first I was like, dang, why he won't, you know, try to lobby for both of them and get both of them on there? But he was creating a monster, and mm -hmm. and and it happened just like he said. So I think you yeah, know he had she, a plan for that too. Yeah. And aside from um, aside from him for to have planned that or whatever, I mean, Venus was their foot in, mm -hmm. one foot in. You know what I'm saying? But while I'm while I'm setting this up, I'm bringing Serena with me. She learning and stuff on the side. She practicing too. She, I'm recording everything, so probably so he can show the wife, and the wife take Serena, and she work on it. You know what I'm saying? So she in the background learning these things, even though she's not there with the coach. So with that being said, you got the one foot in, you getting that money. Now it's easier to bring the sister in because now people know who you are. Oh, yeah, Serena can come because now they think they're going to get a meal ticket off of Serena, and they're going to want a trainer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So – you know, um, to kind of go back in the beginning when he, you know, he was talking about the parents. He was talking about how the parents was treating the kids and this, that, and the third. Um, how how they they were acting. Um, but was it also did did he not act similar when it came to off the court? See, he only noticed the parents doing what they did when their kids was playing. Was he not equally as intense? When he practiced with the girls, T? Mm, nah. Not to me. Those parents, those parents, when they was playing tennis, they look like they ain't like their kids <laughs> no more <laughs> when them kids lost. They look like they real life wanted to just leave the kids at the court. And, like, they, I could tell they treated their kids bad because when the when a couple of those girls did something wrong, they called themselves stupid. Yeah. Or they was like, you idiot or whatever. He spoke like words of affirmation to his kids, mm -hmm. telling them they pretty, telling them they smart, telling them they gonna be this, they gonna be that. So they wouldn't even, you notice when they messed up, they didn't do all that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He'd just tell them have fun. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So he was nowhere near like those parents on that on the, uh, at the uh, tennis court. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think he had a healthy balance of both, and then I think they had two healthy parents too. Like I love the mother, like the role that she played. So. I don't think he was as bad as those other parents. So I've I, I seen it, but I, you know, the only reason I really didn't ask the question because y'all both kind of answered early, but that was one of the questions. What do you think about the mother role as a mother and a wife in their life? Siobhan? So I, I liked how she was because, one, I didn't know that their mother had a, a part in, in their development. So I love how she took Serena and how she worked with her. And she was like, look, the stuff that you were teaching them, you learned that from me. So I was like, yeah, get mm -hmm. her. So I just I, just, <laughs> I liked her character and the role that she played. Like I said before, she knew how to put her foot down with him and how to say what she needed to say. And then she knew how to back up and be like, you know, I'm going to let you have this. I'm going to pick and choose my battles. 
Um, and, and just how she was a nurturer for those girls, too. I like that. T? Yeah, I feel like she did a great job. I mean, she had to be dope. If any time you could let a man come to you and say, hey, I got this plan. We need to have two more kids. <laughs> and you just spread eagle and let them just do a thing and pop the kids out and just believe in this plan the whole way through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially after all the uh, BS he took her through. You know what I'm saying? That plan would have been gone if all that stuff happened. If it was me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Speak, I, you wonder know, how, actually, I wonder how his other kids feel about... I'm sure they feel some type of way. I would feel some type of way. You got his plan for them. What about us? You had no plan for us. <laughs> What was you? You know those three girls wasn't his, right? They wasn't. No, no. he got like he a had other kids. Uh, huh? They all got because they both had other kids, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, when I looked it up, he had three more daughters and two sons. One of the sons, <laughs> um, I'm not really trying to throw no dirt in his name. One of the sons he just had nine years ago by a young girl. So, you know, but he, he if I ain't mistaken, he had uh uh three more girls and and and, and some uh, like two older well I think I think one of the sons is the youngest one, but he actually have a son, which the woman actually um which the mother actually said in the movie, like, you know, all you said when your son uh what's the name like my son found me. And you know what? <clears throat> I was kinda happy they didn't try to make it seem like he was such just kumbaya type of guy mm -hmm. that he actually had some like, oh, I don't want y'all to just picture in or he was just so great and just so amazing and just this and the third because y'all seeing him and how he's acting during this time. They made sure they showed like he do some stuff that ain't it totally is. right. He the type no. he the type that had a family across the street from his other family <laughs> that we were talking about last time. He's the type to do that right there. <laughs> He actually is. So we 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 coming down to the end like we always do at this time. You know, we basically yeah, you know, give out our ratings to to how we felt the movie was, how the movie went. So basically, um, on the on the scale of one to ten, even though it wasn't a actual story, but how you know how it was depicted as a story. You know, Siobhan, what would you give it? A ten. I loved how it how they uh, played it out. Yeah, it's a great story. T, I'm gonna give it a ten too, just for somebody yeah. like to really be like that. That's exciting because they made a good movie. So yeah. I give it a ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I actually give it a ten also. Um, I'm sure y'all didn't know anything about it or how everything came to fruition. Uh, um, T. On a scale of one to ten, how predictable was it? Yeah, uh, one being very predictable. Yeah, uh, it was a one. I know this. I know about Serena, <laughs> Venus, and Serena. I mean, but did you know about the knows. plan? Did you know about everything that happened in there? Nah, I would say uh, it was a four. A four. Because I knew they was gonna make it big. I knew, you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a. Real, but you ain't know how. This is a real story. <laughs> I mean. I know the ending. It's predictable. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's a ten because I didn't know. I didn't know all of those facts that they pulled out in that movie. I had no idea. I just know they they surfaced. I know their father had something to do with it, but I didn't know all the the story around it. You knew they practiced a lot. I didn't know. It's like, I no, didn't I'm, know. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it a ten too because I I was not I I was not aware of everything. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That was going on. I was not aware of everything that took place. I was not, a, you know, again, when they came about, I think I think the first time I actually knew about a Venus Arena was like in, what, 2000? When they won, when they first won like the Open or something like that? Man. Or something in the, in the late 90s. I ain't gonna tell y'all how I knew who Serena was. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate that. <laughs> we we, we uh, read between the lines. <laughs> Then uh, of course, of course, my guy Will Smith played um, played the father. Everybody else, you know, uh, the young lady. I I should have had the name down. They done a bad job today. But um, on a scale of one to ten, T, how was the acting? It was a ten. Everybody ten? played their roles perfect. 
Yeah. Yeah. Siobhan. I agree. It was a 10. The acting was amazing. Will Smith got me a couple of times. My, my, I teared up. I stopped seeing Will he, Smith and I saw the father. Like, he definitely. Even them little girls played their role good. Yeah. 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 I actually thought it was a 10. I, you know, I didn't tear up, but I actually thought, I was like, man, this was one of those iconic moments. Like when Jamie Foxx played Ray Charles, I did not know how Ray Charles looked anymore. Right. I only knew how Jamie Foxx, <laughs> and that was now Ray Charles. Mm -hmm. Like, what you guys say to me? Uh, yeah, but that, it was it was one of those. So I guess, you know, the ending is definitely uh, obvious. On the scale of 1 to 10, how good was the movie, Siobhan? 10, 10. 10? T. 10. 10. Okay, the movie, basically the movie's a 10. Um, Rotten Tomatoes actually gave this movie a 91 out of 100. IMDb gave it a 7.6 out of 10. And Metacritic gave it a 77 out of 100. They so basically, ridiculous. all across the board, huh? What were they looking at? <laughs> that, that's ridiculous. What were they, what's the Yeah, yeah. They? they was looking at the color. Yeah, yeah hey. all across the board is 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 actually a positive reading, you know. Other than that one critic, uh, Doctor Jesse Jeff Jessica Taylor. Other than her, like criticizing, but if you look at her page, you can tell she's a feminist, and she don't believe that a man should even be alive. Like, you know, <laughs> it, it does, if you look at all, <laughs> she she's who David Chappelle <laughs> described. Mm. <laughs> described uh, on this on this set. So, man, we thank you for everybody for watching. Uh, thanks, Ayo. You came just in time for us to be going off. So, <laughs> so next week, you know, hopefully, you know, uh, all the, some of the regulars will be back. Ayo will get off a little earlier next week, and we will have some uh, everybody out here, you know. Uh, we thank y'all. We appreciate everybody for watching. Thanks for the love. Thanks, Josh. I see you like it a lot, so we appreciate it, man. Peace out. All right, y'all.